you are a very strong team as a relay. Two years ago, you, award, you won the World Championship, and uh, you still show that you are one of the best team in the world. Uh, tell us, um, are you satisfied of your today performance? Yeah, yeah we are. We're definitely satisfied. Um, you know. We, we, this is this is a team event, and we're we're here to get as many points as we can. We would have loved to get the win, but we're still proud of each other. We've got two amazing, talented youngsters here who've came in the team for the first time, and uh, they've done themselves very proud. And we're certainly proud of them. They've came here, they've learned a lot, and this is the start of a big senior career for these guys. And uh, yeah, the main thing was to get the baton round. We've never actually practiced together, so it shows how uh, how confident and well skilled these guys are. Me and Harry do this all the time. And uh, the main thing is we scored points and uh, we, we, we ran well, we're satisfied with that. Okay, do you feel ready to fight against the sprinters from Jamaica and United States during the World Championship? We're the fastest team in the world and I think we can win that again. Okay, and tell us what do you think about Bitgos, about the atmosphere during this championship? Um, it's been lovely. Um, you've uh, definitely put on a good show, it's a, it's a great stadium, I mean, it would have been nice if the wind wasn't so strong, but um, can't control that. It's been a championship we've been looking forward to, and for us it was just about coming out here um, to enjoy the environment, to um, you know just just put things in practice in a, in a in a certain way that where we can move forward. So the fact that you guys put on a good show for us and um, given us a platform to perform on, we really, really appreciate it. And uh, what is your next important uh, performance? Uh, will you take part in uh, Diamond League in Birmingham? Um, individually, um, we've all got a few different things to do. You'll probably see most of us in Birmingham, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's all about getting ready for our British trials. And then, um, from a relay perspective, it is about Doha. So, yeah. Practical question uh, from Sprinters. Uh, sprinters, you come. Uh, and you're on Instagram, aren't you? Sorry? You're in, uh, is this you on Instagram? Sprinters? Yeah, Sprinters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the longest distance you run uh, in general uh, on trainings in, in the whole, whole year? For me. Wow. 300, 400. You run a 450. 450. You run a 450. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe 400, 450. Okay. Yeah. Brainer made me do a 450 once. Yeah, yeah. I have. Run, I did run a. I did run a 600 one time, yeah. but years ago. Practical training mostly. I, I guess all of us would be about 300, 350. Yeah. Sort of that sort of distances. Interval training is the main thing that we sort of do. So it's more so looking at getting in technical act work at the same time as getting a little bit of endurance, but it's all about the technique. Richard, uh, this time you competed on 200 meters individually. Yeah. It's rather unusual for you. How did you feel? We felt that? okay. I, I didn't run my fastest yesterday, and uh, I hope, it, well, depends if we have this big headwind, but um, I'll definitely put in a better performance tomorrow, and I'm excited to, to run the 200. Okay, and of course we will not ignore you. Uh, <laughs> tell us, uh, how do you feel to be part of the British team and to run with the older, more, more experienced athletes. Um, yeah, we're very excited to be called in for this championships. It's Oli and I. We train together, and we've got our first GB senior vest together. So we're really proud of that. And to come into a team with such experienced people, such as Kilty and Harry, they really guided us throughout the few days we've been here. And we're just glad to be able to put it onto the track and show what we're capable of. And in what age category you are right now? How old are you? Um, I'm 20 and he's 21, so we're both part of the under 23 still. Okay, so the future belongs to you. I <laughs> yeah, we hope so. so yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. So with guidance from them, anything's possible.